Mayor Tory, can we ask you about the Police Services Board meeting, which is scheduled for this afternoon, a regular meeting, but a lot of these meetings have been anything but regular over the past little while. Uh, there have been a lot of protests. Uh, we saw, you know, yesterday Desmond Cole come out, uh, Dion Rene was there as well. They were talking about something that happened uh, in the, the lobby of police headquarters. Are you concerned that these meetings at police headquarters are, are getting out of hand in terms of public spectacle? And it is, is there a thought perhaps that they should, as Desmond Cole has suggested, be moved to a different venue? Well, actually, uh, long before Desmond Cole or anybody else suggested it, so I'll start over again. Uh, long before Mr. Cole or anybody else suggested it, uh, the police board itself was talking about the desirability of having uh, police uh, service board meetings in other parts of the city. And this didn't so much relate to whether or not build meetings should be held in police headquarters as that it was desirable for the board to get out uh, into the community, especially as we modernize policing and have meetings in places where people could feel uh, perhaps a, a greater sense of accessibility and openness on the part of the police services board to attend those meetings. And so um, I can assure you that there will be uh, meetings held in the coming period of time, and this was under consideration a long time ago, um, outside of the Police Services Board, including but not limited to City Hall, where there have been meetings in the past, uh, but likely to include other locations in the city, and uh, that this is something that I think will be good. But I think people should not confuse that um, with the issue of security. I believe, unfortunately, the reality of 2017 and big cities and police headquarters among other kinds of buildings, uh, that we have to be uh, cognizant of the fact that there are security risks that have to be taken that require uh, prudent and appropriate responses. And if you look at the measures that are in place at police headquarters, given that there are hundreds of police officers operating inside that building um, and that they are, you know, by anybody's reckoning, potential targets for activities that we prefer not happen in our city, that it is reasonable to put those measures in place, provided, as is the case, they do not deny access to anybody. People have to go through, much as they do at a concert or a hockey game, a reasonable amount of security to get into a public building that is potentially vulnerable, and I think that that is something that is entirely appropriate. And if I can just add to that with regard to the conduct of the meetings themselves, meetings of public bodies, whether it's city council or police services board, have to have some rules by which they proceed. Otherwise, you would have meetings that would be totally, um, you know, sort of end up totally purposeless in that you just have a, a sort of a Wild West sort of attitude where everybody would think they could take up as much time as they want, putting forward their point of view, deny others the right to speak, and so on. And so what's going on at the Police Services Board in recent months is simply an attempt on the part of the chair of the board to have reasonable rules of order. The police service has put reasonable security measures in place in the building, and I think most reasonable people out there in the City of Toronto understand understand the need for reasonable security and understand the need for reasonable rules of order at a police services board without denying anybody access. And uh, so I think that's what will continue to go forward because I think that's the reasonable uh, thing to do. Are you frustrated though at what's been happening or no? Well, I mean, when you're sitting there trying to do business and you have people who quite literally shout other people down, refuse to abide by rules that are well known and, and well established and, and, and people are reminded of, yes, it's frustrating because it means that what's happening is other people than those people are being denied the right to speak and the board is being frustrated in terms of carrying on its uh, business. But, you know, you, you learn in this kind of work uh, to take uh, each day as it comes and take each meeting as it comes. Um, and, you know, thank God we live in a democracy where people have the right to protest. But I think there are reasonable, uh, you know, uh, uh, reasonable steps that could be taken by people to abide by reasonable rules, and that's all we're asking. So do you think there's an argument to be made, though, that by having these meetings at police headquarters, it can be, uh, for lack of a better word, maybe intimidating to certain members of the general public, that if you held it in sort of an off-site, whether it's City Hall or another public building, uh, people would be more inclined to show up because police headquarters are sort of an intimidating place? I will acknowledge that one of the benefits of having uh, the meeting from time to time, because we're still going to have meetings, I'm sure, in police headquarters, but one of the benefits of having the meetings from time to time elsewhere is that people will not feel they're in a police environment. Uh, but I will also say that, you know, one of the reasons why you have most of the meetings of the city's bodies at City Hall is simply as a matter of convenience, because the people who have to come to answer the questions and uh, provide details on the reports are senior members of the police uh, organization who, if uh, you're having the meeting somewhere else, have to go 
somewhere else. And, and so all those people are dislocated for a whole day uh, to go to somewhere else in the city. But we're going to do that because it's an important part of making sure people feel that the police board is accessible, uh, that it is not always inside a police building. And that's precisely why we had the discussion long before Mr. Cole or anybody else came along and talked about it, uh, of having the police board move its meetings around the city, including to City Hall. Uh, but uh, I would just say that that's one factor, but it's one of many. And uh, I, I will acknowledge that is a factor that was in our thinking in deciding that we would have some meetings uh, outside of the police headquarters.